Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to AI the Somnium Files. So today I'm playing around a little bit with another microphone I got, and uh, we'll see how well or if that works at all. Um, but for the time being, we're back here on Mizuki side. So I had the conversations with Boss last time. I don't actually remember. Yeah, it doesn't keep my log. I don't remember exactly what we talked about, but it looks like I'm supposed to be going back to the stadium, presumably for more evidence gathering or something. <laughs> She's got a moped. That's funny. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the moped, I just... I guess it fits her personality anyway. The body's been taken away. Oh uh, yeah, what happened to the body? Of course. The winter cold may help, but the body would still naturally decompose if left unattended. They also needed to perform an autopsy. <sighs> I just wish I could have examined it a little more. Why not use my function? What function? This is not your first crime scene. You have done this many times before. Oh, that! Yeah, I've got the Dati syndrome where I just forget about things. Indeed. Iba, please do your thing. At once. Oh no. We're going to sleep. I am replaying the scene from when the body was found. I have scanned from edge to edge for this recreation. I really can't get used to this. It's like going back in time. But I thought I remembered officers being around. Oh, right. This would be our first time seeing the scene this way. When creating a VR space for an investigation, irrelevant information is not replicated. Got it. Now, let us begin. Assuming that the officers aren't relevant. Hmm. The point I am most curious about is... How the body was carried over there. As I previously stated, no footprints were found at the scene. Let us focus our investigation on that fact first. So I guess the body just got like air dropped in or something. Mizuki looks so cool. <laughs> He's pretty awesome. And I'm glad that she was able to, to have her own side of the game. All we had to do was get the Ryuki's dumb side of the game. A soccer goal. Okay, not very helpful. Let's see, okay, yeah, so I can use the different modes. And as expected, it's very cold out here. It's a display board showing lap times. Is this going to be another goal? Yes, it is. And... What is that? The bleachers are hey, empty. Hey, Iba. How far is it from the corner of the seats to the middle of the center circle? Approximately 190 to 220 feet. Could the body have been thrown from the bleachers? Pardon? That would explain how the body got there with no footprints. Hold on. There is so much wrong with that. What do you mean? The record for the hammer throw is 284 feet. The hammer is 16 pounds. The body in question is indeed cut in half, but it still must weigh more than that. Maybe they used a catapult. So that is completely impossible. The state of the body excludes that possibility. <laughs> it's just like a smear of half of a man. Because, uh, they threw it a little too hard. The melted snow has wet the grass, but there are no footprints. Well, I'm not leaving footprints either. It's the halfway line for soccer. Every time I see this, it hits me that this is really Jin Brewer. It's crazy that the other half of his body was found six years later. The cause of death was the body becoming severed in two. He was cut at a molecular level, identical to the right half that was found six years ago. The culprit is most likely terror. 
and no other damage to the body besides being cut in half, right? None. Nothing like falling from a great height? Impossible. If that had happened, there would be signs of impact damage to the body. Okay. So I guess they're trying to say he wasn't thrown from the stands. Still, there's a giant hole in the roof, right? You know, drones. Drones are a thing now. They've got to be a thing in the future. An unnatural object somewhere on the ground in an odd spot on the ground. Small object. And there's something in the grass. Is there? It appears to be a screw. The grass was so long you couldn't see it with the naked eye. Could we say for certain something other than snow was detected somewhere on the ground? Could we say for certain that this is uh, not related to normal sports activity? You know, maybe somebody's equipment has a screw in it somewhere that fell out? His bone structure is standard. Nothing has been done to his face, nor his body. So you're saying... There is no evidence of plastic surgery. It's gin for sure. Okay. Is there anything else to investigate here? This, the halfway line? What's this? Hey, look at the halfway line. It's hard to tell because of the white chalk, but... I see slight grooves in the ground with the x-ray mode. Do you? Because I can... I guess you can sort of see something, but barely. Is this... a tire tread? Ah, okay. A bike, maybe. If that were the case, we would see evidence of two overlapping tire treads. But there is only the one. So, something with one wheel. He <laughs> dropped off the body with his unicycle. Perhaps. This tire track. It looks familiar. Wait a second. What about, uh... What about the, the Shoma's, Shoma's weird one-wheeled robot? Hmm. <laughs> That's suspicious. Okay. I think we got everything we need from x-ray mode. Let's check thermal mode. Huh. Humid area. Seems like if it was this cold outside, you wouldn't really notice something like that. But then again... They said that all of this, the um, the snow had melted on the field, right? Which is kind of weird if you think about it, but maybe it's like right at that perfect temperature. The temperature is a little lower here. It's like something spilled. This is related to specific heat capacity. What's that? Basically, it is how easily something heats up or cools down. Something that heats up and cools down easily has a low specific heat capacity. So I have a low specific heat capacity. You have the opposite. Anyway, as you can see, the melted snow has caused water to begin to pool. However, whatever liquid spilled here has a lower specific heat capacity than water, so you perceive it as being colder. Any idea on what it could be? Analysis complete. It is an oil used for lubricating machines. So the idea of the, the one-wheeled robot is starting to become a little more obvious. Machine oil, huh? Not obvious. Uh, I don't know what the word would be. Understandable? Acceptable? Did I accidentally skip? I think I skipped. We gotta look at the log for that. If I can get back to it. That should complete the investigation. Using the evidence we found, we can replay Terror's actions. How did Terror move the body to where it was found? That's what we need to figure out. Let us begin. Oh, accidentally set auto. That's what it was. Leaving footprints. Yeah, I accidentally set auto. That's what happened. We should consider how exactly it was carried. How the corpse ended up where it did. Yes. Let's see. Looks like it was carried over soccer field, probably. The only wounds in the body There's are the cut no itself. additional damage to the body. If it was dropped from above or thrown from somewhere, that wouldn't be the case. Correct. Now consider the lack of footprints. There were no footprints. But we did find other prints, right? What specifically? 
Where are the prints? The, no, get, get out of my way. Right here. Right here, on the halfway line. You see the tire track? Something with one wheel was used to carry the body. Something with just one wheel made this track. What was it? Spinny ring thing. Robot, probably. I think it was a robot. The yep. screw we found in the grass. And the machine oil. You have to think they're connected. Perhaps a one-wheeled robot. Huh. Have we seen any one-wheeled robots? But we cannot conclude that it was a robot based on this evidence alone. I guess not. But... The tire track. Those tire marks looked familiar. Are you familiar with, like, tire marks on the average tire? Let us imagine it was a mono-wheel robot. Why do you have a, a hover propeller? Have you always had that and I've just never noticed? And it carried the body along the halfway line. Yeah. Let us begin recording. Huh? Recording? Okay, Miss Star in the Making. I am the director slash cameraman, Aiba Kurosawa. Kurosawa? You don't know Kurosawa? All right, that guy. I am going to start rolling soon, so please show me your best acting. Uh, hold on, I don't even know what this is. No talking back to your director. You're an actress. I'm a police officer. That is basically the same thing. For both jobs, you need to show some skin. Neither job requires showing skin. Enough worrying about the little details. You simply need to play the part of terror. Why? Let us begin. Ready? Action! <laughs> My name is Terror. Twas I who cut Jin in half. Now I shall carry this corpse to the center of the pitch. Oh, this is some superb acting. So, how are you going to accomplish that? Using this! <laughs> It'd be a little less on the nose about the exact I'll robot. I'll use this robot remotely and. Uh. This is hard. Dang, this robot's barely Things holding it together. Look there, but I got it back. It's literally gone like a hundred feet. <laughs> it's already breaking apart. <sighs> I did it. Cut! Wonderful. Great acting. You even got that evil look on your face. I especially liked the performance of your eyes. Exactly, that's what I was saying. You have the eyes of someone who has actually killed a man before. Can you not say that, please? Anyway, this robot. It looks familiar. Aiba, you were thinking the same thing, huh? Yes, I saw it before as well. Shoma's one-wheeled robot. Do you recall the grooves on that tire? But it just can't be. Shoma can't be terror. Despite the circumstances, the possibility is not zero. No way. The best thing to do is confirm with him directly. Where is Shoma? Hey, Shoma, are you terror? Unknown. Uh, really? I cannot locate his GPS signal. His smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. This seems to be a common trope. So sending a Nile message is pointless too. Guess we have no choice but to look for him. Where could Shoma be? Why does Shoma look the same after seven years or whatever Naturally, it is? we should head to the Enda residence. There Six is also years. a high likelihood of him being at Brahmin or Matsushita Diner. I think I've seen him testing his robot at Yoyagi Park too. While not directly related to Shoma, there are records of Jin Furue being hospitalized at Central Hospital. Maybe we can ask about Jin, too. We should also head to Sekiba High. 
That's where the second body in the HB case was found. Where should we go first? We got lots of places, but uh, we gotta talk to these police officers first, right? Sorry, using a controller again. It's just really convenient for like relaxing while playing instead of having to sit up at my desk the whole time. It is a little harder to be pinpoint on the accuracy of this pointer sometimes. Oh, yep, that was totally worth it. Not much here. In fact, I can't do any of that. Okay, we've got a lot of options to go to. Let's try Yoyagi Park, see if we can find, uh, whatever this guy, uh, Choma. <laughs> see if we can find him testing his robot. See if it's covered in blood or machine oil or something. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Right. Huh? Isn't that... Oh no, is it this guy again? What are you still doing here? He's not in Leon. They might know where Shoma is. Let's go! Hi, you two. Leon hasn't changed a day. <laughs> he literally looks exactly the same. Big sis. Kizuna looks a little worse for wear. Oh, hey, Mizuki. Was this, uh in relation to that explosion accident, maybe? Or is it unrelated, maybe? All right. No, I haven't seen him. What happened? It's nothing. You don't need to worry about it. You can't Oop. tell? I, I was trying to, to do that thing. Leon and Shoma became friends after the incident six years ago. Mizuki was the one who put them together. Shoma lost his father six years ago. Mizuki thought it would be a good idea to introduce Leon to Shoma to cheer him up. Nowadays, they're almost like brothers. Though it's hard to tell who the older one and who the younger one is. I'm asking because I can't tell. A young girl and a guy walking in a park together. Multi-level marketing scheme? <laughs> but it's a date! Oh. This was a date? Dang. Imagine that. Six years later. You've been chasing the same girl and she's still rejecting you. Uh, well, I guess it's not that formal. We just came here for a change of pace. For Kizzy. This is our favorite spot, you know? <laughs> We've been on a ton of dates here. It's practically our second home. Just a nice, relaxing spot for both of us. Y yeah sure do you like do you leave her alone anytime of course my feelings haven't changed a bit if anything they've gotten stronger when i'm with kizzy my heart soars it soars so high i feel like i can burst through the stratosphere and beyond the galaxy it's my dream to fly i remember telling you so it's like my dream comes true whenever I see Kizzy. Wow. To be honest, you don't seem like the kind of guy who's into commitment. I am. And as more proof, I'm working as a locksmith. Kizzy said she doesn't like an unemployed man after all. I think Kizzy just doesn't like you. I want to like make you. enough money to be able to support her. Sorry. I don't want to talk about it. All right, let's see what she has to say. Want to talk about the wheelchair uh, thing? What is it, Excess? Well, uh, oh, the wheelchair? You do not have to worry. I am used to it by now. As you know, the injury I received to my spine six years ago Whoa. caused my legs to stop working. Okay, yeah, so she's been in it ever since then. I have been in a wheelchair ever since. Why would you say this to us now like we wouldn't have known this from 
literal years ago. I will not be able to dance anymore, like I used to. Oh. Dancing was the one thing that freed my heart. No more. But it would be inappropriate of me to complain. I was caught in an explosion, and yet I survived. It is a miracle that I am still alive. To not appreciate that fact would be a sin. Kizzy. Yeah, I guess that's got to be uh, pretty rough. Especially if you're that kind of person who... I mean, I guess for anybody to be stuck in a wheelchair, but if you're the kind of person who really got enjoyment from dancing and, you know, singing and stuff. Oh, nothing in particular. I am just not feeling well today. And Lian was nice enough to invite me outside to get some fresh air. I thought Kizzy was feeling a little down. So I called her, and sure enough, I told her, let's go to your favorite place. You really understand her well, don't you? Are you spying on her with a wiretap or something? No, don't be ridiculous. It's true that maybe I've stolen some things in the past, but I've never stolen someone's privacy. <laughs> hmm? Oh, I... I was just remembering about Big Sis. Not referring to you, of course, but... Oh, the one you lived with from 9 to 15, right? Yes. I used to come here with her often. I think it was summer, when I was 10 years old. I accidentally got my clothes dirty. It was my father's favorite imported outfit. I was scared that I was going to get scolded harshly by my father. I tried so hard to come up with a lie. Who could I blame? And as I was thinking, she pushed me into the fountain. She what? I was shocked. But then, she jumped in after me. Let's do some laundry, she said. Oh, like washing your clothes by playing in the water. Yes, but she had another reason. As we splashed water on each other, I remember her saying, when you're feeling down, you should clean your heart. It was not only my clothes that needed cleaning, but also my heart. I was trying to find an excuse or come up with a lie that would have been caught right away. But she, well, instead of coming up with a lie, she turned it into the truth. She even went beyond that and made it into something fun. It is not good to worry about things, to come up with lies. That was what she was trying to say, I am sure. We went home together, soaking wet and laughing. Father laughed with us. I was just lost in that memory. That's cool. I mean, that's still a lie, right? <laughs> it's still a lie. You just covered it up with another lie. I'm sorry. I don't know. Damn. Six years ago. Big sis. Yep. I lost my left eye in the explosion. But I don't even worry about it anymore. I got a good partner. Indeed. Oh, is that a false eye? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm not allowed to tell you about it. Uh, it's against... It's against regulations. If anything, things have been even more lively for me. You're damn right. Oh, quiet. Aww. Lively, I see. Mm. I need to head home soon. Huh? Already? We just got here. I remembered that I have to do something. Kizzy, what's wrong? W why do you ask? It seems like you're worked up about something. I believe you are mistaken. Oh. Wait, is it my fault? What? Do you not like being with me? Do you not like being seen with me? Uh, pretty much. Well... I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> is that not how you feel about me? What? what do you mean? I am sure you know what I mean. No, I don't! What are you saying? Mizuki, you were right. Kizuna is acting strange. Why not wink sync with her? Hmm. Sure. Yeah, do the anime pose. It makes the wink sync work better. I know. Lian, you're only with me because you feel guilty. Your supposed feelings for me are just a farce. 
in truth, feel nothing but guilt inside. Guilt for what happened six years ago. Needless to say, you did nothing wrong, Liam. But that is not how you see it. You believe it is your fault for how I ended up. That is why you stayed by my side. I am just a burden. Please, just leave me. I do not want to be the reason you ruined your life. Oh no, don't worry. He's ruined his life from his own actions. Kizzy. She is assuming Leon's feelings come from a place of pity. No, Leon's just a weirdo. What is it? Can I link sync into Leon too? Consecutively? The battery usage is quite high. I could use a recharge. I have low power. Come on, you can spare it. Don't treat me like your allowance. Can you please? I want to know Leanne's true feelings. Hmm. I suppose. I will make an exception and use the emergency backup battery. Cool. Yes, we could have always done this. I'm sorry. Kizzy. I couldn't save you. I couldn't protect you. And because of that, you're... But that doesn't change how I feel about you. I love you. From the bottom of my heart. I don't care about appearances. I don't care what happens. You. And I. Forever. Forever. Eternally. They really do care about each other. We need to tell them about how the other really feels. How? Hey, I just read both your minds, <laughs> yeah. and guess what? Is that what you want to say? Uh, yeah, let's try it. Not to mention, it is tactless to wedge yourself into other people's romances. This needs to be solved between them. Iva, how old are you now? I am turning 12 this year. So that's like 65 in human years. <laughs> you dog? I'm not a dog. <laughs> anyway, I need to be going. Leon, thank you for today. But, please, you do not need to care about me anymore. But, Kizzy... I don't know. There she goes. I think we could have fixed that. With a little well-placed, uh, like, no, he loves you or Unfortunate, something. Unfortunate, but we are not relationship therapists. We have another job to do. Find Shoma. Well, good luck with that, Leon. You're right, though. He hasn't changed, like, at all. He doesn't look any different. Uh, sure. Let's see if Shoma's at home. Can't imagine there'll be much to do here if he's not, which... Jeez, his house Looks doesn't like look... Looks like Shoma isn't here. It doesn't look any different than before. Probably like he's gone off the deep end after his dad died and, you know, didn't do anything. Hey, Mizuki. What are you doing in the Kotatsu? Kotatsus are perfect on a cold day. They make you really sleepy. You do realize this is breaking and entering. Yes. It's fine. When I was here before, Shoma said I could just come in any time. I believe that kind of sentimentality has worn off in the modern age. Anyway, let us search. Yeah, let's look for oranges. No, the one-wheeled robot. We need to check if it was Shoma's robot that carried the corpse. All right, well, it's in the closet, right? No one-wheeled robot in here. Ah, uh, where'd it go? It was in here before. Hmm. He's wheeled it away from the crime scene. All right, question time. A lion is tied up on a ten-foot chain. What is the area of grass the lion would eat? Do, do lions eat grass? Let me think. Approximately 314 square feet. The correct answer is zero square Yeah, because lions don't eat grass. Lions don't eat grass. Unless they're sick. I think maybe they do it then. But Leon eats grass sometimes. What kind of little kid logic is that? <clears throat> hey, Perv, don't look! Who are you talking to? You're the one who peed. <laughs> Machine part. Book. What else do we have? Uh, remote control. Is he hiding in there? In here? Nope. 
It wouldn't fit. Well, I guess he's nowhere in here. We couldn't find the robot anywhere. And no other leads. Yeah, no oranges either. Mm, oranges. Who cares about the oranges? I want the oranges. In any case, we have no time to waste. Let's head elsewhere. It's so cold outside. You're the one who picked that outfit. <sighs> Let's get going. Any day now. I like Mizuki so much more than Miyuki. Like, I get he was sort of like funny in the same way that Date was in some ways, but he didn't have quite the same charm that Date did. And Mizuki's is so much better. I finally found it! That must be the one wheeled robot we were looking for! It has two legs. Hey! My name is Penny Ben! Nice to meet you! This thing talks? Strange name, too. Penny Ben. I know there's more there's things a to look at. Ame yep. no Uzume on display. It's said that she danced with her bare breasts swinging about to entrance Amaterasu. Aiba, you should try it. Why would I do that? Mm. No, I guess you don't have a whole lot to swing. Oof. You don't either. Oh, it's a picture of Mizuki. <laughs> you. I was going to say, I think there's a couple more things to look at in here. But maybe there's not much more that they're actually going to have us talk it's about. It's Rooster! He's the manager at the fried chicken shop that Adara works at. That is a peculiar situation. <laughs> no oranges or robots in the fridge. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Brahmin. Um, oh, right, because Shoma might be here. I was wondering why we were going here. Oh, Mame? Mizuki, what are you doing here? Have you seen Shoma? No, I haven't seen him here. What about you, Guinea? I haven't seen him recently. I see. 